going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a mic in plug on your T1i. Alright, so for anybody out there who owns a Canon Rebel T1i, you pretty much know that Canon has limited us to only be able to use an internal mic as opposed to the Canon T2i that has a mic in input. So today I'm going to show you how to hack it. Alright, so let's start off with the material list that you're going to need. First, you need to buy uh, eighth of an inch phone jack which pretty much is the mic in plug they run for about three bucks and they come in packs of two secondly you're gonna need a really small Phillips head screwdriver you need something pointy like a flathead screwdriver and a pair of scissors you're also gonna need a soldering iron I use this which I picked up for about eight bucks at Radio Shack you also need a pair of needle nose pliers. Alright guys, first things first, make sure the battery is out of the camera. Secondly, make sure that there's nothing in there as far as the media card or anything. Take everything out of there. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what screws to take out. Starting with one on the side and four in the bottom. Two, three, four. And then two more on the other side. One, two. Now you don't have to do this, but you can take the viewfinder eyepiece off just to get it out of the way. Now make sure that when you take the screws off, you place them in specific order. That way when you need to put them back together, you won't have an issue because they're not all the same size. Now just make sure you take the battery door off and put it somewhere safe where you won't lose it. Now just continue to take the screws off, and again remember to place them in specific order. Now, use the flathead screwdriver to pry open the side cover. It comes off fairly easily and just put it to the side, make sure you don't lose it. Now, inside there's a little silver screw that also needs to come out. Once you're done with that, make sure you use the flathead screwdriver to pry open the sides. Be very careful because there's ribbons that you do not want to damage as you can see. Now inside you'll see a black and red cable. These are the two cables that you'll be working with. Now what you want to do is you want to take the wire and you want to be very careful with these wires because they're extremely thin and can easily come off the circuit. You want to basically untangle them and then strip them. If you have wire strippers that are that size and perfect, if not use scissors. When you cut these two wires, make sure you cut a sufficient amount, that way if you mess up while stripping, you still have enough to work with. Like I said before, be very careful when dealing with these two wires because they're extremely thin and extremely fragile. Once you're done stripping, you're going to need wire cutters to take off a piece of metal that gets in the way. Don't worry, it won't harm your camera at all. Just make sure to be very careful. Try not to damage anything. Once you're done taking that off, now you're ready to solder the jack to the wires. This is the spot where the jack will be going. Once you have everything positioned, now you're ready to solder away. Once you're done soldering the wires, reposition the jack back into place. It should look something like this. Using movie mode, plug in an external mic or an iPod to see if it works. Snap the back piece back together. When you do that, you'll notice that the actual jack isn't exposed, so you will need to do some cutting around the edge. Unfortunately guys, my camera battery died, so I wasn't able to record the drilling of the hole to place the little actual mic through, but I'm assuming you guys can handle that if you're able to come this far. 
this is what it should look like guys um, when you do drill the hole make sure to position the side case the side of the case um, to make the hole correctly for the actual jack um, after this just put everything back together and you should be done this is what the final product should look like I tried to make this tutorial as easy as possible to understand. Hopefully it can help you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Special thanks goes out to Daily Dose of Phil for helping me out. Go check out his channel. Link to his channel is in the description.